Hey guys, Shadow so here. Welcome back to a brand new Gears of War 4 gear pack opening video. Bringing you guys a new gear pack opening up 15 for now of the brand new Gears 5 inspired Scavenger Outer Wilds K gear packs. So, you know, you guys, you, 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 you know, you should hopefully know by now, but Gears 5 is a thing. It's been revealed, it's been announced. And K Diaz is sort of like the main protagonist, the main character in that game. And it sort of like inspired a new look for Kate in this game as a new character. So as you can see, we have the scavenger pack uh, available right now with the chance of getting an Outer Wilds Kate. Uh, as well as a Jack themed weapon skin. With of course, in the gameplay reveal, Jack is also back to help out the new sort of Delta squad. Uh, we've also got a couple emblems in there as well. So this is actually a 2000 credit gear pack. So... There should be five cards per pack, so hopefully, hopefully, you know, you can see I've got 176,000 credits right now. I haven't had to spend credits in a very, very long time, but, you know, hopefully, don't have to touch them. I don't know. Here we go. Let's jump straight into it. We've got 15 packs to go through. Uh, you know, I'm liking uh, the banner as well. Look at that. It's, uh, it's kind of different, right? It kind of looks like teeth, but also it might be like an outsider... I don't know, emblem logo? I'm not really too sure, right? If we can get the character straight away, that'd be, you know, that would that'd be pretty good, right? I would assume that, is she a legendary? I might need to quickly go check, but we got the Hypno Lancer. Come on, you're still getting skin? I keep forgetting, you know, it, it's been a while since I opened up some normal packs, right? I keep forgetting that you get normal skins in the packs, which should not happen, you know? Look at that, we got the Hypno Lancer and the Swab Pod. Swarm Pod? Swarm Pod Snub as epic skins, cards, and... They're not even a part of this DLC set. What is that? Uh, okay, we've got the Jack Overkill, the Drop Shot, and the Enforcer. You know, I'm not really too fussed or bothered about skins, but it is, it, you know, it is still quite interesting to see, you know, how many packs it might take you to maybe complete the set, right? But yeah, I do believe we are hunting down a legendary card. So uh, we've got the Jack Emblem right there, the Retro Lancer, the Overkill again, of course, baby. We're getting more Hypno skins out here. What is that? I don't know. Uh, but we also got the Lancer. Nice, okay. Let's go. Right, let's, you know, come on, man. Come on, game. It's been a little while since I need to just try and find a character. This is the time, right? This is the one. Give me the legendary, baby. Okay, we got the Outer Wilds emblem as well. You know, I, you know, I, I, I do believe, like, I think at this point, I've probably got more interest in collecting, like, all of the unique and different emblems in the game compared to the weapon skins, you know? I think, because, like, because purely, there's just so many skins in this game, right? There's just so many skins, man. Oh, wrong character. What are you doing in my game? Get out of here, you helmetless E-Day. No one wants you here. Come on. You know, you, you could be at least a car mine, right? But you're not. You're just, uh, just, just a person. What is this? I don't know. Uh, okay. Not great. Not great. We're going to get some, what, commons and rares? Not good. we got the Jack Hammer Burst. Nice. Already a third of the way through. Five in. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Don't make me spend any more credits. Okay, we got the Jack Nasher as well. We're getting all of the, like, Jack starting rifles, right? Well, weapons, right? Uh, we got the Desert Camo Shepherd, wrong character, DB. Yo, you guys seen the DBs in the Gears 5 gameplay? Holy moly, what is going on there? Yo! What? What? That was unexpected, yo, what? So she's not a legendary. I was expecting to be looking for a legendary, right? Okay, there you go. We got the Outer Wilds, Kate. You know, I should have probably told myself to go back to the main menu just to see if it was an epic or legendary, right? Because I was looking for a legendary. We've got no legendaries out here, but we did get the Outer Wild Kate character in a cheeky seven packs. Not bad. Not bad. Looks like, you know, I don't need to be opening up, well, uh, you know, getting any more of the hard-earned credits that we've earned. Uh, you know, we could save them for the future, right? So, seven packs to get the character nice. Let's quickly just go through these one by one. You know, imagine if we got the uh, the character twice, you know. Sometimes that has happened, right? We got the regular Shepherd, which apparently I've never owned or don't have. I don't know. You know, I, I have been, like, scrapping a ton of weapon skins over time. Just, just to get, like, a billion uh, credit bounties for, you know, core game modes. So, you know, I've been getting rid of all of my skins, right? Okay, we got the cheeky Hoffman. Hoffman didn't really make an appearance in that Gears 5 gameplay, right? Is he dead? Is he dead? Is that the man under the, the you know, the uh, the thingy bob? I don't know. I don't think so. You know, why would Kate be crying over over Hoffman, right? Uh, you know, if you guys are wondering about, like, Gears 5 speculation and discussion videos, there is so much to talk about, right? And don't worry. Don't worry. You know, those sort of videos, like, they do take a little while to, to, to produce and get together, but we've got a lot to discuss, right? 
you know, it would actually have been super, super cool if they actually took, like, the, the character model from Gears 5 and put it as the character model in this gear pack, right? Maybe not, like, the new winterish armor, but, you know, just her, you know, visual appearance, right? With no, like, it would have been cool if she didn't have, oh, we got her again, ego. Perfect example, right? Uh, it would have been cool if she didn't have the beanie on, you know, and had, like, a similar hairstyle, like, that would have been pretty cool. But, you know, I don't think they can do that, I don't know, but we're going to get Outer Wilds Kate twice in, what, 11 packs? Not too bad, man, not too bad. How many is 11 packs? What, 20, 22,000 credits? You know, it's not too bad, I don't know. We got the helmet, let's eat it again. Again, okay, we got three more packs to go through. Let's just quickly blast our way through these and then we'll go quickly take a little look at the character herself. Uh, you know, I can't believe I was expecting, like, looking for a legendary, right? <laughs> we didn't even need no legendary out here, man. Uh, okay, what we're we gonna get right now? We're gonna get the Jack Helmet Burst, we're gonna get the Outer Wilds Emblem again, that's fine. Uh, last pack to finish it off with a character, right? Oh, there you go, we got the Commando Dom, baby. And the Jack Snub. Maybe I do believe we got all of the Jack starting weapon skins. If we really cared about getting the skins, but we don't, we don't, we don't. We, all we care about is getting the characters, which we did, luckily. So, so there you have it, guys. My Gears of War 4 gear pack opening of 15 Scavenger Gears 5 inspired gear packs. Uh, let's quickly jump back into the menu just to take a, a cheeky little look at the new Kate Diaz character because, uh, you know, I'm actually pretty excited about... The fact that Kate Diaz is going to be the main character in Gears 5, right? What it really does show is that, you know, the Coalition are willing to take risks, right? But also, it makes it feel so fresh and new, you know? Like, it doesn't really feel like the vibe that I got from watching that Gears 5 gameplay was, you know, that it looks like, you know, another Gears 4, right? It looks so different, which I think is a super good thing, you know? Super, super important as well. Especially for, you know, just keeping our interest, you know, over and over and over again with each new Gears game, right? Uh, but here we go. We've got the Outer Wilds K in the flesh, rocking her tattoo. She's got, like, some tactical backpack on the go. She's got a flashlight on there. You're going to need that. A water bottle, yes, indeed. Don't be touching the water. It might be infected, though, by the swarm, right? Who knows? She's got some, like, weird, like, flask thing on her back as well. But, you know, I actually really do like the character Kate Diaz. So, I, you know, I actually have been playing as Optic Kate. I might switch up a little bit, right? And play as the brand new scavenger-ish. Sal it says salvage right now. I don't, I don't know what that means. But the Elsa Wire Kate. So, definitely let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the uh, Gears 5 inspired Outer Wild Kate character being available right now. How many credits it took you to maybe try and get her. Or, you know, if you didn't get lucky like I did with, what, two characters in 15 packs... Definitely let me know that as well, you know, I'm always interested in hearing other people's experiences with the gear pack system, you know, because I don't think it's really going to return in Gears 5. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, I don't know. Give the video a thumbs up and share if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you for watching, and as always, I shall see you in the next one.